What is up, my eternal dragon tubers? It is I, D, at the epitome of geekdom, and I'm back with some more Dragon Ball Z, Revival of F, Resurrection F, Fakata no F information. This time, I'm going to hit y'all with some behind-the-scenes dirt. So, well, not really dirt, just some cool behind-the-scenes information. So... If you're in Japan and you went to go see Dragon Ball Z Fakata no F, you got this awesome little miniature book called the F book that came with tons of... So our pals over on Kanzenshu, specifically Heath, has been translating some of these tidbits. And there's a lot of pretty cool behind-the-scenes information that I'm going to share with you guys today about Dragon Ball Z Fakata no F. And this is all legitimate behind the scenes information translated from that F book. It's a cool little book. I mean, you can see pictures of it online. Um, and it's awesome when you go to a movie theater and you get something extra. And that's, that's always a good thing. So um, one of the things that was mentioned in the book is people asked why Toriyama chose to make Frieza golden Frieza. You know, why did he choose to choose that color? Why did, you know, that? why is that what happened? Toriyama claims that he thought that he couldn't make Frieza's design any simpler, so he decided to change the color instead, and thus Golden Frieza was born. And according to what it says in the book, he thinks that the reason that Golden Frieza looks so good is because it reminds him of gold medals. So Golden Frieza was influenced by gold medals, not by the Los Angeles Lakers. So now we know that. Um, another question was the SSJ God SS, the story of why Toriyama or what was kind of behind Toriyama's idea to make Goku's hair blue in that form. Well, according to the F book, uh, the blue hair was chosen in order to emphasize that Goku is more tranquil in this form and keeps a level head in battle. In other words, Goku um, in his blue form he chose blue because blue is a very soft color and it represents kind of Goku being calm, cool and collected when he fights my only problem with that explanation is that if you read the Fakata no F spoilers and if you're familiar with Dragon Ball you know that the what Whis told Goku is that Goku was actually too calm, see that kind of bugs me because the whole thing was that Goku's problem was not that he was, you know, irritable and out of control. That was more Vegeta's problem. Whis had told Goku his problem is he takes things too easy. So it makes more sense for Vegeta than it does Goku, if you ask me. But that's just my opinion. Um, speaking of Vegeta, the third tidbit in the book was about Vegeta's new gray-styled armor, which looks different. Um, and apparently, you know, and this is kind of just wacky Toriyama information that we kind of can figure it out on our own. It's not really that important. Um, Bulma had Capsule Corp develop it. Basically, Capsule Corp's development department created Vegeta's brand new armor under her instructions. I suppose it's more durable. I mean, who knows? But... That's kind of the backstory there. I'm very happy to hear this. I really am. I'm very happy to have heard that this is what's going on. My question is, when are we going to get explanations about how Vegeta and Goku achieved this form? And, you know, maybe a little more information about Frieza's training. I'm not asking for a full montage, even though I would have loved to have seen it. But I would like a little bit more information, if you ask me. Anyways, that is from the F book. Unfortunately, you know, those of us outside of Japan... We don't get cool shit like this. So the most we can hope for is if we go see the movie, maybe they'll give us, like, something cool. Like, maybe, like, a trading card or something. That's kind of what we get, right? Like, with Pokemon. But um, we're probably not going to get this awesome, awesome book. But I'm sure Konzenshi will have it translated. The whole thing very soon. Anyways, thank you for watching the video. Subscribe if you have not done it. And I hope you all have a lovely rest of your day. I'll catch you down the road.